Shortly after Congress kicked former New York Republican Congressman George Santos out, he said, quote, to hell with this place. You'll recall, of course, Santos racked up 23 federal fraud charges, including wire fraud, money laundering, theft of public funds, and lying to Congress. His trial is expected in September. Well, last night, just three short months later, the disgraced ex-congressman, dressed in a rhinestone-encrusted collar and silver shoes, made a surprise appearance on the floor of the House of Representatives at the State of the Union address. And it was not just to troll the president's speech, apparently, which, of course, he did. He posted on X, formerly known as Twitter, I just witnessed a weak, frail president deliver spin and lies to the American people from inside the chambers. I have made several personal sacrifices in the name of serving the American people. Santos also, of course, is now attempting to launch some sort of comeback, saying, quote, I want to announce that I will be returning to the arena of politics and challenging Nick for the battle over New York 1, that's the New York 1st Congressional District. I look forward to debating him on the issues and on his weak record as a Republican, unquote. Joining us now is the former communications director for George Santos, uh, Nasa Woomer. Uh, Nasa was hired after he was elected, and then you resigned after his first indictment. Is that right? Yes, that's okay. correct. Okay. So let's talk about this. You resigned as comms director mm -hmm. uh, after he was arrested and charged for fraud and other crimes, saying you... Saying you um, you, you were honored to quit. Santos said he wouldn't seek re-election after that damning ethics report. Do you think this is real? Is he really going to run for re-election, or is he just trying to get attention? I feel like it's a little bit of both. I feel like it's a little bit of, it's like in Veep when uh, she says she's rebranded. So I don't know if he's doing something very similar here. This is a completely different part of Long Island, which was once occupied by uh, Lee Zeldin. So I really don't know if he's able going to, he's going to be able to do the following things get the signatures that he will need to be on the ballot. And then also the primary is in June. So he has a very short amount of time to get signatures, file, and get some sort of uh, fundraising dollars. Yeah, it seems improbable uh, that he'll be able to <laughs> mount any sort of serious challenge right. to an incumbent yeah. Republican, Nick LaLota, uh, who is, as you know, the first uh, in congressional district's incumbent congressman. Mm -hmm. um, he's one of the, the New York Republicans that pushed to expel Santos. Mm -hmm. Is this about revenge then, maybe, do you think? Because it doesn't sound like it's a very serious candidacy mm -hmm. if it's in June and he's challenging an incumbent. Maybe he just wants to attack Lolota? I think it's a little bit of both, once again. I don't know if this it's a little bit of a, reven a Taylor Swift revenge tour, or, but it's also I for someone who literally had said that he, you know, to hell with this place. So I'm just a little surprised. I thought, you know, doing great with Cameo. So, it, again, I... Mm -hmm. I, I, but I will say this about Congressman Lolota. I would take this very seriously because, once again, we could see something slip through the cracks. Well, just like, let's think back to 2014 with uh, former Majority Leader Eric Cantor when he lost to Dave Bratt out of the blue. So it's just, it's one of those, is it a joke? Yes. But also it's an opportunity to just once again prove that you can beat George Santos, yeah. whether it's kicking him out of Congress or out of a primary. So Republicans obviously lost the special election to mm -hmm. fill Santos' seat for the for the uh, district that Santos uh, had. Democrat Tom Suozzi is now the incumbent congressman. He's now running uh, for re-election for November. In his announcement, Santos said the fight for our majority is imperative for the survival of the country. So let's listen to some of the responses from uh, New York Republicans and others. He's an embarrassment uh, here in Congress. It's one of the reasons that we uh, led the charge to expel him. I think George Santos should focus, if that's really his name, uh, that's what he should focus. He should focus more on uh, worrying about his personal issues than trying to come back here and make another spectacle uh, out of uh, this one of this country's oldest institutions. It's a free nation, and people can run whenever they want. But I think George is just not honest. I think his, his time is coming on. What's your personal uh, reaction? Because obviously, you know, you dedicated your life to him. And thankfully, it was only for six months, but you worked hard for him, I'm sure. And I'm sure you had your challenges. Uh, what, uh, what, what, do you think something, do you, is something wrong with him? And if so, what it is it? I think it's... I want to say yes, a little bit, just because it sounds like someone who just, he went from being a congressman to a celebrity. And I think just the media attention that came around him during his entire time in Congress, it just, um, I 
think it, it increased his ego. And I, after listening to um, members such as Nick Lalota and Anthony Desposito, I agree with them. I mean, it's, it's a joke. And one of my biggest questions is, you know, do we need to go back? And I think um, Congressman Richie Torres has already begun filing legislation that would revoke his floor privileges. Yeah, this is just for those confused about why he was even allowed on the floor of the House last night. He has lifelong floor privileges despite being expelled. And as you know, Richie Torres, uh, a different Demo uh, well, a different congressman from New York, he's a Democrat, uh, and this is according to um, Punchbowl, quote, is introducing uh, a new rule, the George rule. George stands for getting expelled officially revokes guaranteed entry rule. That's pretty clever, actually. It is. It's that would revoke House floor privileges for expelled members of the House of Representatives. You, you, you think that that's a good rule? I think it is a good rule. I mean, let's just remember, too, only, I think this is, he's the sixth member of Congress who has been expelled. So the last- In the history of In the, the history. Uh, yeah. So the last one that was expelled was in 2002. And prior to that, I believe it was back from the Civil War when they were, you know, confessed being um, traitors. loyal traitors yeah. to uh, the Confederacy. So um, I don't think they've ever, usually when someone's expelled, I don't think you really want to return to the place where, let's face it, 105 Republican members of, you know, of your colleagues decided for you to be expelled from Congress. To be honest, they led the charge. The New York yeah, Republicans led the charge. Nasa Wilmer, great to see you. Thank, Thank you so you much. So much.